I think we are live. Are we? Are we live? We are live on some show. Lower the volume. We got people in the chat. Yeah. We are live. We are, we are live. And this show is called, as always, Viral Pass with the homies. What are we called, Edwin? The Comic Triple Threat. Yeah, buddy. And Perry, what do we bring every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock? What do we do on this show? Hello? I know I can't hear nobody. Oh, man. <laughs> Something happened. I can't hear nobody now. Perry, oh, man. Perry. All right. Just keep going. I'll try to troubleshoot. Perry. <laughs> sounds. Well, Perry's out, man. <laughs> Perry is out. Perry's so. out. His high tech headphones are not working right now. No, nope. he, he may need to unplug. Let me see. But what we do it. here okay. is, man, it's simple, man. You know how we do. <laughs> that one, we will. What we do? We buy uh, or or we? Pass. Can you hear me? I hear you fine. Perry, you good, brother? And Perry's out. He'll come back to the show. Wait. <laughs> but that's what happens, you know. Been a few days since I seen you, man. Yeah, man. Just here, I'm trying to I'm get back. through it. And uh it looks like Perry's back while Perry sets up everything. Let's say what's up to the chat right now. We got I think about seven people in the chat. We got the homeboy Carolina Chris 26. Hello, sir. We got Mr. Across the Pond, Comic Geek McD. He said, What's up? We got uh who else in the chat? Mr. Garrel. Hey, thank you, sir, for joining us. Like always, thank you for the support. And let's keep it going here. Jeff Comic 813. What is up, homie? Yo, what another Floridian. Okay, I'm good. Harry, are you there? I'm good. I, I just gotta make sure everything was set up good, but uh, I am here to rumble. Ladies and we're gentlemen, here to rumble, let's get we ready got, to rumble, right? That's what you guys have, say in the wrestling world. He's not a wrestling fan, but he doesn't know about wrestling, but he's an I'll amateur wear, I'll wrestler. Put, I'll put some tights on. I wear some underwear. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, the underwear. And we got a uh, DMZ in the house. So uh, thank you for joining us. Never heard of you before, but we appreciate your support for hanging out with this um, panel we got right now. The comic collector is in the house, ladies and gents. If there's up, the so we got about nine in the house. We thank you for your support <laughs> and hanging out with us because we're going to try to help you. I don't know, Perry. What do you think we're going to do tonight? What we try to do? I think we're going to have a good time and try to spread some positivity and a little bit of speculation. Oh, speculation. <laughs> I think Edwin likes that word, speculation. Sometimes. Not, uh, today, not today's speculation. Oh, well, you, we never know. I mean, it, it <laughs> could. It, we got a long night, guys. We got a long night. There's a bunch of books out there. I know Edwin's got something rumbling and just want to let it out. And Harry's like, oh, I'm going to tell you something, buddy. <laughs> so, um, that's what we do here, guys. So let's have some fun. And uh, <laughs> what program is there? You all used to all be on the live same time. That was Carolina Chris. Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts. That's what we use. There you so. go. That's, yeah. All right. So, yeah, man. Big days tomorrow. I know Edwin's gonna be there at ten o'clock in the morning, probably at nine forty-five, just waiting at the door. Be like, "Hey, I know you. Can you open the door? Let me in early." For sure. Yeah. Hey, my uh, coffee shop opens at ten o'clock, man. And then sometimes, you know, because I know the owner, uh, they'll let me in. He'll let me in like ten minutes early sometimes, man. Exactly. He'll be there at nine forty-five. Be nine forty-five. I know you. My nine fifty. You see these guns? Let me in, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure Perry be right behind him because Perry is the man that never sleeps. And that's fair. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my shop lately. I've been going in and there's like ten people there before me. I don't understand. Wow. What madness is going on? Yeah, man, because they're catching on. They're catching on to Biopass, man. That's what's going on. Yeah, they're in the chat right now. <laughs> All right. So let's start it off, man. There's a bunch of books coming out this week. There's a lot. I mean, there there is a lot. 
Look at this list right there now. There's a lot of books coming out. And I think we should just um start off with some Marvel books. Maybe I don't know. You want us to talk some Marvel or not, man? Let's do it. All right. Knock it out the way because oh man, Perry. I know you want to jump to DC real bad, but I want to talk some Marvel. Hey, we could talk Marvel, man. I could dabble in some Marvel books. <laughs> All right, because the one I'm looking forward to is um ooh, Immortal Hulk. I mean, how can you not want to buy Immortal Hulk? The thing is on fire now, man. What are, there's no Immortal Hulk coming out tomorrow. A second print. That's it. Well, that's why. It's a second print. I, I know there's gonna be a bunch of people like Perry that want to go buy it. No. <laughs> That's a little see. That's a little curveball. I would, I would me and Edwin were planning on that one. See, it it is a nice cover, man. This second printing. Um, let me see if I can. Can I pull it up? There it oh, is. That's, there it is. That's, oh, the, yeah. that's the second print, man. So it's a really nice cover of, of Hulk on there. But um, I don't remember if if Immortal Hulk fifteen was really anything like major. I think, if anything, it was more of like a, a cover of him jumping off of the... Uh, like that was him, right? Free-falling? Yeah, that was the variant by Alex, um, Alex Ross. Yeah, that was the variant by Alex Ross. Um, dude, for me, let me tell you, the one I'm most excited for is Major X... No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm still waiting for my first issue on pre-order. Hey, hey bro. I'm, and, I'm, I, I, and, I, I, and I'm going to order issue two, so... I'm gonna even, tell you the truth, man. Even though my arm will be like this, but um, uh, yo, this one right here, this <laughs> Beat the Souls number three. I'm deaf. I'm hyped. I am hyped. Def hyped for that one. Yeah, that's gonna be a good. Like Perry really got me onto this one, man. Yeah, I, I like number one and I like number two. The number two ending was a little bit weird. I don't know if they rushed it or just like the way the panels were that it threw me off a little. But it's a good read. I like it. I recommend it. You know. If you guys like that, you know, the TV show I was saying on FX, the Americans, you know, people living undercover in a country they're not supposed to be in. This might be the book for you. And I have not read it. I don't know why, but uh, I know you guys talked about it, but I don't know. It's just, I don't need a, another book added to my pool list. With that being said, Mr. Kachun, thank you, sir, for joining us tonight. Kachun. So keep on with the scrolls. So it's, keep should going. I add it to my pool list or what? Dude, I, I think so, man, because it's – right? So you got scrolls. Obviously, that's not anything new. We know what they can do, right? They can change their appearance to take on whatever – you know, whoever they want. But this is a new kind of take on the scrolls, and it does have to do with, like, secret spy type stuff and that, that show Americans, like Perry was talking about on FX. So you got this – just a family unit, you know, in, I think, Washington or Virginia. Mm-hmm. You know, and they're trying they're they're just trying to set up different contacts with the daughters and the wife and the and the husband to try to get to this secret project that I think is SHIELD or the government, whichever one, is trying to set up to discover the scrolls. Mm. So man, it's it's been dope. And it, like I said, man, it's it's a low print run. The story's been really good. It's it's a new take on something. So I'm digging it, man. That's definitely on my full list. Oh yeah. And of well, course, you have the one daughter who's defiant and ruins everything. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So with that being said, what we got going on next? Uh, let's see here. Uh... Well, my other Marvel book that I'm freaking hyped for that's interesting oh. is a uh, War of the Realms War Scroll number one, which is going to be a first appearance of um, Daredevil, the God Without Fear, where he actually. Is going to embrace these mystical godlike abilities. So, man, I don't know. It should be interesting, you know. Is that a spec or that's just you, Perry, or just just? Those are facts. All right, that's what I want to hear. They're facts. And actually, um, uh, Kachun just mentioned I, I'm tempted to buy Punisher Realm Story. I don't know. I, I'm a Punisher fan, but I don't want to mess around with the whole War of the Realms and all that stuff. I know, man. Like. I'm looking on Midtown right now, and there's an A, B, C, D, E, F, G cover for just the regular War of the Realms. And there's some really nice covers, man, but I just, like, I can't spend that money on all these covers, and it's the same story inside. 
can do. I, you know, I've said it from the beginning. War is wrong. I'm gonna stick with the main, the main story, and then I'm done, man. Can't. I can't do it. Although, all, although, there is a super sweet looking cover by uh, Victor Hugo, but it's a, it's a one in twenty five, so I don't have the money for that. But uh, Perry, you may need to raise up your mic because um, they're saying your mic is low. Like my pitch or my volume? Like I could talk like this, you know? <laughs> oh, I could do that. That's, that's even better. That's All right, better. guys. The next book on my pool list is. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could go real low. Perry, I can hear you now. You're good. All you right, go. sweet. I got all these knobs and doohickeys I got to play with. No, you good, man. You good, bro. We, we, <laughs> you're still sexy in my ears. So <laughs> they actually changed, man. If you look, uh, if you look on Midtown, they changed the cover to War of the Realms number two, uh, the A cover. Yeah. It used to show. It used to show the old cover, but now they now they change it to this one. Yeah, Midtown's been doing that a lot lately. It's kind of like ticking me off because I like to buy my Midtown books Wednesday as soon as they update it. And they haven't been updating a lot of covers right away, and it kind of like it throws me off. Yeah, you know, I don't. I just want a simple A cover, and that's it. If if there's a nice variant, and that's it. I don't want. I don't want. This can be one or the other. That's all I want, man. I don't need <laughs> forty five covers. Multiple choice. <laughs> pretty good, man. Got Wolverine and Punisher on there. Yeah. Doctor Strange in the background, so. You know, I'll be I'll be picking this one up, and it and it has a lot of bright colors too. You know, what what always what I think of when I think of like War of the Realms or, uh, you know, where Thor comes from, it's like a lot of like a lot of beauty and a lot of bright rainbow colors. So that's what they're kind of showing off with these. I'm I'm digging that. Yeah. Aaron, your comments on the books and the covers. Yeah, it's cool. Go ahead Thank and get it. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, if anything, yeah, stay away from the covers. Um, stick with the main line for War of the Realms because there's so many different interesting miniseries that are popping off alongside. I, I would rather people spend their money getting the other miniseries and reading those tie-in stories rather than just buying a bunch of covers that are going to be dollar books in a couple of years. And, and actually, the, I, I finally read the, the War of the Realms. That, that book is actually really good. I really did enjoy it. Um, well, no spoilers because I don't like to get spoilers. But if you want a review, you know, everyone does the reviews. But the book was really good, and I was like, I'm gonna buy the first one, and that's it. But now it's like, all right, I'll buy the next one. So I had to pay <laughs> five ninety nine for it. Is it? It's five ninety nine. It's a five ninety nine. It's a big book. It is. It is a big book. I gotta say that it is a big book. So at least you're getting your money's worth. You know, it's not a, a regular like twenty page comic. I think it's probably double the size, but I'm seeing four ninety, so it's five dollars, four ninety nine. Yeah, four ninety nine, and then if you get yeah. back and board, it's gonna pre order, you know, like I do. And then, uh, all right. So, how about we um, go ahead? I'm sorry, Evan. Oh, dude, proceed, sir. You know, uh, probably one of the bigger ones coming out tomorrow, and I'm not sure if anybody in the in the chat's been talking about it, but um, Avengers, bro, Avengers, No Road Home, dude. Issue ten. That's the that's the finale. It's the finale, brother. It is the finale. So I'm I'm excited to see how how they're gonna finish this up. It was shorter. It was shorter than last year's No Surrender, because No Surrender was 16 issues, bro. So this, so, is, this is only 10. Thing is, um, which one do you like the most, though? You, you cut out, Rod. How about you, Perry? You like it last year's No Surrender? Or there's no real home. Rod, you're freezing up on me. Oh. I'm still here. Okay. What were you saying? Can you hear me? Yeah. I, agree. Not yet. I don't know why it froze up, but um what was better? I was asking Perry, the no road home or uh, the no surrender? Oh no road home. I feel like this one is I don't know, in my opinion. I haven't been reading them. I've been hearing everyone talk about them, and I've been seeing the covers and seeing what's going on and transpiring. I actually just got number three from Bodico Comics, so okay. now I could finally sit down and read the entire run when I pick up number 10 tomorrow to give my true opinion. But it seems like it's really good. Did you read No Surrender, Harry? No, I didn't. But the story that I heard around it, it was just I didn't like do it anything ends, that like, much. It starts, it starts off really cool. You know, you get the Black Order. 
and then you get the, the whatever the other new there's another new team that shows up mm -hmm. with the avengers so it's like this triangle fight to try to get these prisms so you know it starts off really well but like most marvel stories like i say it it just ends like a bad part dude it just yeah. fizzles away it doesn't end well it begins really strong and it doesn't end well and that's what i'm saying there's no road home i feel like every issue people have been talking about it like and that's every probably issue. why they went and that's probably why they went from 16 to 10. you know they cut it yeah so yeah in the chat we got here um <laughs> carolyn and chris said poor loki yeah yeah he got like Haga. that was kind of that was messed up but um Big old FGCU42 said, I'm more interested in grabbing the trays at the end of the full store to save some money, pretty much. So um, there's nothing wrong with that. And then we got the comic collector who said, he said, I'm a DC guy trying to get into Marvel, into Marvel, not tomorrow. And my LCS never has any Marvel books. I want to try. Never seen a world around Cosmic Ghost Rider found one Immortal Hulk. That's wow. Right. Just stick um, with DC, bro. <laughs> you might want to pre-order. You might want to pre-order um, the Comic Collector. Uh, I mean, that's yeah. another way to do Or call your LCS and tell them to order it for you. And, I mean, yeah. at my shop, they don't order Die. And Die is one of the hottest books because he doesn't sell image comics, he's told me. So... <laughs> I mean, that's one way to go. That's ridiculous. But uh, we got Splash, Splash, uh, Splash Page comics in the house. Hello. And uh, with that being said, let's keep it going, guys, man. Want to get in the DC? Well, let's we, do we, it, I, bro. I still got a Marvel book. Oh, go ahead, yeah, bro. I got Spider-Man Life Story number two coming oh, out. Yeah. Spider-Man Life Story number one during the 60s, the Vietnam era, and it was freaking phenomenal. That you you seen like the Captain America, you seen Iron Man fighting in Vietnam, and then some crazy reveal at the end where Captain America is like a traitor now. He's helping the Viet Cong. Whoa, wicked cool! I hope to God that they do like a, a like a mini series of the 60s, like the whole thing, and then I don't know. I feel like they're doing this 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. As a test run, almost to go back and do a mini series on that whole decade. I don't know. I've been really enjoying it. But he's supposed to be getting older through the decades, he right? Is. He's supposed to be aging. Yeah, he's gonna age. It's not like nowadays where, you know, oh yeah, he's still he's like a thirty year old now, even though he was made back in the sixties. Oh yeah. So this he's gonna be aging, dude. And the B cover, I just looked up the B cover. It is super awesome, man. That you Michael Michael show. Mm. Harry's got to pull it up. Harry, you got to pull it up there somewhere. Uh, I think Jabron, Jabroni got it. Jabroni's the the pull up master. Let me see. Let me see if I can see pull his it up. arms. He be pulling them up. <laughs> pull them up. <laughs> uh, this this one right here, seventies. Mm -hmm. Dude, that just screams nineteen seventies. The only thing it's missing is somebody needs a like a porn stash. <laughs> That is, that is a nice cover. And actually, how can we forget about that book when Reggie was in the show and we were talking about it? I mean, he enjoyed it. He enjoyed the book. And um, well, actually, I don't like Spider Man books. I, I don't. I feel they're boring. They're like cheesy almost. And it's like the same high school drama. So, like, I stay away from like the whole neighborhood Spider Man thing. So, I'm like, all right, let me just see what this is about. And I like that whole overseas and, and seeing like the 60s you know like it was really cool it, it, the story is really good and um actually um edward wasn't on the show it was just me and jeffrey khan oh, you missed it um, you missed it bro but um it was good man it, i think the, the book was great reggie liked it and perry brought a good point that is a great book to pick up this week guys and actually go pick up the first one if you can yeah and then jump into the second one uh, and actually, on that Spider-Man thing, I want to throw in there um, that uh, City at War. This is issue two of six. That's based on the video game. So I got the first one. I want to get that one, too. Yeah, I, dro I dropped it from my pull list, man. But only because I had the game. Like, I dug it, but I had the game, you know, and I played the game probably two or three times. Like, I beat it over and over. We, me and my son, we, we sat there and beat it. And the comic is the same exact story. Yeah, but they're changing. They're, they're adding characters to it now. 
Is, is, is they're adding more things that's not in the game. I'll that's only pick it up if they put the game on Xbox. Because <laughs> I can't play it. I got to buy their PlayStation to play the game. Well, I haven't bought the game, but I just, you know, I haven't played it either. But hey, from what I've seen, and they're adding different things to the book that's not in the game. So, Edwin, you may want to pick it up now. Uh, Splash Page Comics says The Silver Surfer Black going to be a good book. I think he's talking about guard, the new Guardians of the Galaxy. Number four comes out tomorrow. Which Guardian Guardians has been really good too. That's been on my pull list, man. Well, Silver Surfer Black is um coming out in June, I think. Oh, Donnie, oh Donnie, Donnie, Donnie Cates is doing a Silver Guardians? Surfer book. Yes, he is. Yeah. Nice. So Donnie Cates is gonna kill it. And actually, that Guardian of the Galaxy was funny because I just read um I think I just read it and put it on a, on Instagram the other day. Actually, was it today or yesterday? But um, <laughs> I was laughing because um group said plot plot plot. Plot, 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 and then he was like, "What are you trying to do, Groot? What are you trying to say?" And he was, "I'm trying to, I'm trying to do fart noise, but I don't have a tongue." I was just laughing was so great. hard. I read it out at work, man. It was great. Just want to laugh. I just want to throw <laughs> it out there. If you don't find it funny, then fine, man, guys. <laughs> yeah, that was you, man. We go on to DC. You guys, want to talk about DC? Man, there ain't nothing coming out for DC. The structure. I know. There's nothing. <laughs> it's probably uh, um. <clears throat> there is some good stuff. There's some good stuff coming out for DC, man. Go ahead, Perry. I know which one you're gonna bring up. <laughs> Teen right. Titans issue 29. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this story has been off the chain, man. If you if, if you're not reading this Teen Titans Deathstroke crossover with with all this madness and goodness man it, the story's so good i went back issue hunting for so i could get the complete series run it's just it's really good i'm blown away like i i didn't think of myself as, as like a team titans fan i'm like all right yeah. and then i started reading i'm like man damien wayne is freaking bananas you know and then lobo's daughter crush like that's gonna pop off i feel like people are sleeping on lobo and and lobo's daughter because imagine lobo in a movie how crazy would that be well, I got her first movie. appearance, so or the origin that that one issue, dude. And I, you know, I usually don't get both covers for a book unless it's like uh, I'll get the Batman Who Laughs. I'll get both those covers. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow, Teen Titans, I'm grabbing both covers with man. the broken glass. He's Deathstroke is is shooting the gun, and then and each piece of, of the glass shards is each Teen Titan. Now, Rob Rob Liefeld, Rob Liefeld needs to take some pointers. From this cover, because this is how you wow, draw. Wow, man, this guy take his shots. <laughs> not, not the way he drew Cable in Major X. He needs to look at this cover. This is how you draw a character holding a gun. But the, but, dude, even the A cover is nuts, dude. I'm I'm loving. I like, it. I like the A cover more. That's why that's why I pick a thumbnail for it. And I was wondering, I was going to question you guys when I when I pick a thumbnail for this. Should I pick the A cover or the B cover? And I was like. I knew was that I knew that was gonna happen, so I was like, "I'm gonna put the A cover, and that's it." The yeah, A cover is good too, where it shows Deathstroke just his main face, yes. and then he has the Teen Titans divided in half, he's going against each other, holding them. It looks like he's holding them like they're yeah. chess pieces. Oh yeah. Well, so, he you you have to see like when he when they like arrested him and threw him in in their little makeshift prison, he just pulled out of there like these guys are amateurs; these are kids. I've been yeah. doing this for decades. I, I I went head to head with the best of them against Batman and Superman against all the big guys. Who the hell are these Teen Titans? You know, I don't know who the Teen Titans are. I mean, we know who <laughs> no, they that's, are. I'm that's that's Joe. That's like his, he's like they're just a bunch of kids. Uh, let's take a look in the chat real quick here, guys. We got Hialeah in the house. What's up, Mel? What's going on? Nobody. DK Comics and Cosplay. Hello, thank you for joining us. Well, that's Delphia. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And Kachu's in the house again. And hey, Steve Burke Nasty, thank you for joining us. And it was an honor to be on the show with you and Chino and Manny and all them and Thoro. Hey, it was a blast. Rock on. Let's keep it going, guys. Thank you. Um, but like I was telling you, Perry, man, Teen Titans and Deathstroke, they've been fighting since the 80s, bro. When yeah, man. Deathstroke, his first appearance is in a Teen Titans book, so. Yeah, I mean, he killed them all. <laughs> he's been a Teen Titans villain since the beginning. Yeah. Like he'll go and mess with the Justice League and you know other other members, like you know other characters. But him and the Teen Titans, dude, since Dick Grayson was Robin, 
Yeah. Like way back. I'm still hunting that damn book, man. Hopefully, Megacon, I could get that in Lobos first. That, those are my two books I want to get at, at Megacon. Nothing else. That's it. Um, what's another? Hey, dude, they talked about it. Nice, nice box. <laughs> what's that? I don't know what that is. Uh, that's a fire. That's a fire extinguisher. Hey, you know the one I'm I'm most excited to read, and it might not be for Perry, but for me, yo, Naomi number four, man. I want to know the back. I want to know the backstory, dude. Oh, I need you, honestly. I want to see your backstory. Hey, 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 chat. Anyone in the chat, if you got some popcorn, I'm looking at you right. <laughs> if you got some popcorn, it's going to get good. Uh, Grab some popcorn. I'm not doing it, man. I'm not, I'm not going to debate Perry on on anything Naomi. He doesn't read it. Each right. right. his own. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, lo- I'm gonna loosen up Perry for one second. Hey Perry, I got, I got some good news for you though. What's Are you that? ready for this? What was that? The Batman Who Laughs. All right, is graded on Midtown. You don't have to ship it out. Just buy it. It's eighty nine ninety nine. There you go, Perry. The Batman. Who- I think it was issue one too. I'm, I'm trying. I'm just trying to soften you up. This one. Yeah, great. They got it graded, but it doesn't say if it's gonna be a nine eight. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. I'm happy with my signature. Oh, uh, no, you get another Snyder. one. And then I'm going to get one signed by Capullo. <laughs> so I'm a happy camper. Hey, yo, Joe 47771 got his popcorn ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, triple threat. Look at, uh, look at Delphi on DK Comics and Cafe. Oh, triple threat. John, John, John over here. And it's. <laughs> Okay, Carolina Chris. I don't read Naomi. No, I don't read Naomi. I have no <laughs> idea who the hell Naomi is. What does she do? Does she have heat vision? Does she have cold breath? Is she really smart? Nobody knows. So why am I going to spend money on a book if I don't know what the hell's going on? Because you spend so much money on your various. <laughs> Take they pay for themselves. <laughs> All right. Hey, Edwin. Hit him with it, man. Do it, bro. <laughs> Oh, uh, see, we already we did a we did a stream with Asian Funk, man. Remember, and you know we talked about these books, and uh, you know to me, it's a super low print run. It's a brand new story. I know. It's it's not a retread on on a character we already know, right? It's not mm-hmm. Batman who laughs. It's not the Joker Batman. It's it's not a care. It's not even though Spider Man Miles Morales. It's a new character. It's still Spider Man with those yep. powers. Like this is a brand new character. Bendis is pushing really hard. I'm interested to see. It's kind of a mystery. So to pay $3.99 when it first came out, I think, yeah, that definitely you should have picked it up. But now to pay the $70 to $100, I, I would hold off, man, because there's there's other books out there that, are, that you should probably spend $100 on. Oh, yeah. Like this one, it might die down. It, it may die down. It may not. I, I don't know. But, I feel it's all depending on the issue coming out tomorrow, though. That origin story. If that, because that's the book I'm getting. That's what I've been waiting for. I want to, I want to see that origin. If that's not a book that's gonna blow up, that origin story that people are talking about, that's crazy nuts. I think Naomi's gonna go away. But, but the, the, action, the action comics, well, the the one that Superman's flying down, holding, supposedly Naomi. You got that picture? Can you pull that up? <laughs> Can you pull that up, that one? Bend it. No, I don't have it. Ben, Ben has already shot that down, man. So okay. did, so did Rob Liefeld. <laughs> <Same> thing. <laughs> <laughs> Major X first appearance is in, in uh, some cover on his website for a hundred. Oh my god, we got we all know it, it's man. Deadpool Spider Man forty seven. Well, I guess I'll take this pen here and just cross out this whole <laughs> <laughs> Naomi and Superman and flying down the same T shirt and all that good stuff. Um, you know, another good cover for tomorrow just to get off the Naomi hype train. But I love Naomi. Let me say that. But, so uh, dude, Nightwing 59, the B cover, bro. Oh, that, with uh, Yasmin Putri. I, yeah. I don't know if you've been like, collecting her covers. She did some awesome covers on Red Hood. Um, but this, this Nightwing cover, yeah, it looks, it's fire to me, man. Let me pull that up for you guys. There it is right there. That is a nice cover. It's, yeah, I'm digging that. It's got that like like that other the, the live stream you were on earlier. It has that um, that Spider Man into the Spider Verse kind of feel with the, yeah. with the colors and the cityscape right there, and he's kind of flying through. I'm I, digging. I like how they position that blue to be like the Nightwing logo. That too, bro. That's yeah, just, that that's is dope, man. That's fire. 
So, and, and you already, you guys already know, I, I love, I love these Petri covers. I, I mean, that's my, that's the, that's the back to my phone case, man. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna jump into the chat real quick, guys, because Michael Risco is asking. I know you don't like this, Perry, or I think it's either one of you guys. Are we reading Daredevil? Yes, I am. I'm reading Daredevil, and I enjoy it very much. And these people won't give it a chance. Is it you, Perry, that don't like Daredevil? I read, I read Man Without Fear, and I thought it was okay. Um, I mostly went for the connecting covers. <laughs> uh, but the read just I don't know I, I picked up Daredevil number one um, I think like a 1 in 25 or 1 in 10 variant and I read it and I don't know didn't do nothing really for me yeah. but I am going to do the Daredevil the War of the Realms War Scroll number one where Daredevil becomes the god without fear you see that's some craziness I need no, I don't need none of that I don't need any tie-ins I just went one through whatever it is the War of the Realms I want that's a lot of tie-ins, guys. You got the Punisher, you got the fart, and you got the cat, and you got the kitten, and all. And I don't need none of that stuff. I don't need who. I don't need none of that, man. Dude, Mar that's Marvel's. That's Marvel's go-to, man. Any anytime they do these big, um, you know, these big stories, they always have a ton of tie-ins. They did it for uh, Spider Geddon, even uh, the, the Spider Verse that they did a few years back. They they always do it, man. bunch of bunch of tie-ins. I, mean, I feel oh. like Marvel, like um, what was the name? Comic Vet was saying before that, like when we were talking about Spider-Man, they put out Spider-Man: City at War, Spider-Man: Life Story, Miles Morales: Amazing Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man. Miles Spider -Man Morales is Deadpool. good though. Yeah, it, but it like, really is. how many damn Spider-Man books are you gonna pick up in a month? Miles Morales is separate though. He's Puerto Rican. <laughs> it's a separate yeah. book. But I know what he's talking about. We're not. Let's leave Miles Morales because that's a whole different like story. That's Miles Morales. But as far as Peter Parker Spider Man, yeah, there's like five, I can respect that though. Yeah, like five books, and DC does it too. You know, you got Batman, you got Detective Comics. Uh, there was like a Batman um, No Fear, I think it was called, that came out last year with Kelly mm -hmm. Jones as the as the artist. Uh, that was coming out, and I think that might still be coming out now every month. Um, then the Batman Who Laughs because Batman's in that. So they, they both do it, yeah, and it, and it gets it gets annoying. It does. It really does. Yeah. But um, Manny, the comic collector, is saying hello to everyone. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, we appreciate that. And we nuts in the house. He said, "Hey, hey guys, uh, we thank you for joining us right now. Aggressively relaxing. Daredevil being good is a constant of the universe. So, yeah, I, I like it, man." Dude, I, yeah, I haven't been picking up Daredevil either, man. With so many books that I have on my pull list, like I just I can't fit I can't fit them in. It's too many books, man. I can't yeah. fit them in, man. You gotta pick and choose. But I think I'm gonna do like uh, I don't know if you guys follow D Comic Queen on Instagram. Uh -huh. She uh she printed out her pull list. Yeah. Like that's gonna help her start scratching things off that she really doesn't need. And I think I need to do the same, man. Tomorrow I'm going to my comic shop. I'm gonna ask for another pull list sheet so I could take all the books that I don't want off and then put the books that I do want on that I'm gonna pick up and read and then I'll stick to like my midtown orders and stuff like that when I'm feeling frisky. Why well, would you just print it out and just take it to them instead of having no Because I like no sheet. pressure. I, I well that makes sense. Honestly. Just make it easier for I don't for have them. a printer. There we go. Oh, well. All right, very true. Uh -huh. Another another big one for tomorrow, man. If anybody's reading Justice League, um, twenty two comes out tomorrow. The A the A cover is the one you should really go with because I think the B cover is is hot garbage. <laughs> um, dude, it's got the Legion of Doom on there, and then in the background you see Perpetua. So if you've been reading Justice League, you know Perpetua is like the big bad that Lex Luthor is trying to you know um, rematerialize her or however he's whatever he's trying to do. She was what was behind the the wall, the source wall. That was like a prison. And when they broke it, she kind of, she got out, and Lex Luthor, you know, kind of kidnapped her. So, one of these issues, we're gonna see her first, like her first full appearance, which we really haven't seen yet. But Justice League has been great, man. And this whole Legion of Doom, I'm I'm digging. I love I love the villains, man. Yeah, I've been hearing nothing but good things about it. Justice League has been really good. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the only Justice League I have is that number twenty with the three part cover. I just I couldn't pass up on that. They <laughs> they got me. DC got me. <laughs> yeah, 
The B, the B cover, though, is, is hot. Not garbage, guys. Yeah. And Carolina Chris 26 said he would go online to his LCS and adjust his pool list and take off, you know, I guess whatever he wants. But um, I guess some of these places in Florida, they don't, I mean, like the place in Bar, well, Perry, you know, Bartow, Florida, he doesn't, he's not really into, um, he has an Instagram, but he doesn't use it. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you're low, if you're lucky enough, like Carolina Chris to go to online and just adjust that's your awesome, pool list, he's that's awesome, there, man. I know my Perry going to his shop and saying, you know, here, here's this list. I need you to adjust it, you know, which kind of sucks. But well, I always mess with what you got to do. Shop man. Owner. I always tell him like, hey, tell me what's on my pool so I know how much I'm spending. Well, so next, so, so tomorrow I'll take a picture. Like my what my shop does is they have they'll have a little slip of paper with all the books that are going to come out next week, so that you can kind of mark off. Okay, put this in my in my sub box. Put this. And then whatever books you, you put on there, then they add that to your pull list. Even though you might only want that one book, they're still going to add it to your pull list. So I need to go back and start taking stuff off. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, you know what's coming out next week just by looking at that little slip of paper. I'll take a picture of it. I'll post it on Instagram for you guys to see. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So how about we um, – well, hey, Perry, got you got DC. I got another DC. Go ahead, Perry. I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> Continue with DC. I'm sorry. No superhero talk, though. Let's get into some real world DC. That American Carnage issue number six mm-hmm. on fire, man. Every issue out this book is like nuts, yeah. like bananas. Yes. You know, I'm not. I'm not into the whole realistic comic book thing, but I'm starting to like dip my toes into a few series, and this is one of those series, man. I can see this like as a TV show almost. Like it's really good. Like, the whole concept, the writing behind it. The the art in the book, the Brian oh, Hill. Give yeah. Brian Hill some credit. Oh yeah, it's freaking it's bananas. And it's it's something like the shield or like um uh what's the other one called? Uh it's like uh what's that another TV show called with, with Crooked Cops and you know, the the one with the shield and there's another one I'm trying to think of it right now. But continue, Perry, it's gonna come to me. Uh, that's that American Carnage is is part of DC's uh, Vertigo line, so it's like they're kind of like they're darker. It's not really black. La- it's not their DC black label, but it, Vertigo is is more of their mature, you know, for mature audiences. Right. I haven't been picking them up, man, and I, I know you you keep talking about it. I, I'm gonna have to pull the trigger one of these days. You gotta have an open mind to it too, though. That's the thing. Maybe get the trade. Hey, uh, hey, Rod. I I do have to say. That that shirt you have on is awesome, bro. Yeah, that's a Bruce Lee T-shirt right there. That Bruce Lee, that's an awesome shirt. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. Uh, I've had it on body forty times by now, but um, <laughs> you, only when I recognize it. I do know some kung fu like this, or, <laughs> but you know, it matches the hat, and so that's what I try to do. There we go, but, digging it, digging it, <laughs> digging. But uh, there's another show, The Shield, and I just can't think of it right now. Oh my <laughs> god, it's gonna kill me because th- that book is that good. You know, it's just um, let me see the check it help me. It's a crazy book. It's like a like a modern like American history X kind of like feel where you got like these racist white people and and there's like people making fun of Obama wearing like a monkey mask, going to commit murder and setting people up and fires and explosions and kidnappings and murder you know murder, murder. <laughs> uh, i mean but it's it, 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 it's it sounds like bad like we're talking about it like this but as you're reading it it's like i mean the story is good because it, it this is it just leads up to other things where you like i want to keep on reading it yeah. and it's you know you got exactly you gotta have a, i mean i'm just saying you gotta have an open mind if you don't they don't read it though because our, our main, like, superhero of the story is an undercover, like, agent. Like, he's working kind of, like, almost off the books and, like, trying to infiltrate this whole family government organization. But as you're reading, you kind of forget that almost, that he's undercover because he's, like, playing the role so well. But then stuff starts getting real and you're like, oh, my God, how is he going to deal with this? You know, like, he's an undercover agent. Is he going to kill somebody? That's That's nuts, you know? Yeah. Hey, guys, I know you're getting into gaming and all that stuff. 
Asquad72, um, follow him. I know you guys like playing games and stuff like that. And um, I'm pretty sure he'll help you, you know, not help you, but uh, he's got a bunch of people that playing online and stuff like that. Right. So, um, yeah, sub him up. Us. And um, we got someone to carry us in Fortnite. No. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know about Fortnite, but uh, <laughs> uh, I have another friend. Um, uh, if he's probably watching, uh, Bruce. And Asquad knows who he is. So, um, hey, there you go. That's a plug to Bruce. Asquad 72. Hey, follow these guys, man. They do gaming and all that stuff. I suck at gaming, but I play Nintendo Switch and I play Mario Kart and w- with my wife. So, Heck yeah. Bro, I, don't have, uh, I don't have any more DC. I had four books, man. That's all I'm picking up tomorrow. Well, that's, that's fine. DC. Four books from DC, man. I just want to throw a couple of books out there because I know you just mentioned Putri cover. The Putri. How you pronounce it, Edwin? I don't know. I said Putri. Putri. I don't know. Putri. I said Putrid. Putrid. All right. Can you pull it up? Uncanny X Men 16. Who can pull it up? Let's see. Uncanny X Men 16? 16. Putri. A Putri. Is, it's, a, it's a Yasmin cover? It's Putri cover. Yes. Yeah, here it is. Let me see. I love it. Not beside. Mm, 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 mm. There you go. Yeah, oh, look at that. She got a spear. That's a that, man. That's a sweet cover too, bro. She's going hunting. How much is this one? Let me see. Three a three thirty. So it's a regular priced uh, variant cover. There you go. That was my variant. That was that was the best variant variant price for either Marvel, DC, or indie. But actually, I have a couple indie picks. I got I got two indie books, man. Go for it, shoot it. Six. Dean, well, Perry, let me jump. Let me jump in first. Then. Yeah, go ahead, knock it out. <laughs> uh, for me, it's it's Little Bird number two, guys. Now that's high five. <laughs> it's uh, that's image. Yeah. The the one image. I mean, obviously, die. The fifth print comes out. Which if I mean, if I see it, I'll pick it up, but. Uh, I'm not too worried about it, mm-hmm. but Little Bird, that first one, you know, I told you guys about when I first read it. I was like, bananas. Dude. Yeah, it made my head explode. Like- it was, it was really good. And then I picked up the second printing of it last week for number one, and then number two comes out this week, dude. I'm picking that up for sure. Oh yeah, I'm. I want to. I want to read that. It looks good. I like the first one. Crazy, but yeah, I'm not I'm buying a Little Bird. <laughs> trip, trip. Chirp, chirp. Disturbing, man. Too graphic. <laughs> too graphic for uh, too graphic for Rod. Yeah, it's a little. <laughs> what do you got, Perry? All right, so definitely that little bird. Since we're in image, I'm gonna go with uh, Middle West number six yeah, with uh, Scotty Young doing the writing, and then we got George Corona on the artwork. Just every every single one has been fire. You know, it's 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 a great story. It's like a sleeper. Everyone was talking about it in the beginning, and no one's really talking about it anymore. But hey, if you like a good book that's independent, that's not Marvel or DC, and check it out, you know. And then that uh, Oliver number three. Um, I picked up number one and two. I haven't read it, but now I kind of feel obligated to pick up number three in case I really like one and two. Then I could read the third one, you know. Read it. Hey, read it tonight before you go to the shop tomorrow, man. <laughs> and that'll tell you. Hey, um, look, look, look what um, hey, I'm sorry, but uh, Kachun said Delphi got both first and second prints of Little Bird. Yeah. So the second print was cool. The second print was cool because it had her in like an action pose. Yeah. So I like that one. And then uh, the next one is a number one. Um, I used to watch a show Ooh. as a kid. Like it should just be on the TV. Is the uh, Xena Warrior Princess number yeah. one? <laughs> and the the oh. cover is amazing. I love the David cover. Mac it's cover. like watercolor, you know. Dude, yeah, that David Mac. <laughs> yeah, man. I got it right there. I was saving it. You beat me to it, brother. <laughs> it's all right though. That's I David love Mac's you, bro. Beauty. And then speaking of David Mac, he did another independent book that I'm going to be getting, which is uh, American Gods: Moment of the uh, What was it? Moment of the Storm. Which that oh, is phenomenal. Yes. Like he's got like that watercolory feel, and it's to me those covers look beautiful, you know. Yep. 
Yeah, for sure. And they're both number ones, so it's kind of like like a gamble to see if it's good or not. But if it, the book isn't good, the cover looks fire, so I'm okay with that. You know? I don't know if you guys um, follow him on Twitter. I think you do, Edwin. But um, they just did a thing in Philadelphia at the art museum, a whole Marvel um, art thing. And um, David Mack had his artwork there, which was pretty cool. So if you guys haven't seen it, um, go to on David Mack's Twitter account. Yeah. And the, well, you know what I'm talking about, Dan. Right, it was so cool, man. I, I was like, I wish I was there. And, and Copper Town jumped in, and I was like, let's pack up our bags. He liked it. I was just, I wanted to be there to see that, man. Cool Marvel thing at the Art Museum in Philadelphia. Dude, the one the one for Xena that I was looking at, I didn't even know like the A cover was the David Mack. I, I was looking yeah. at the Virgin cover. Yeah, I wanted to get, I should have got it before it got sold out because it's such a pretty cover, man. It is. It is a really nice. It really cover. is. So here it is right there. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. a beauty that, right there. That is, that's sweet, man. I'm digging that. Yeah, with the watercolors on there. Look at the background, though. It's like a sketch. Yeah, of her face. Like, yeah. That was such a good that, show. That, that should definitely, I, I mean, I don't know if this book is going to be fire and, and heat up or anything, but that is definitely. A cover that could be slabbed and put up on the wall. Yeah, and that's it. That's just for good artwork. If you like artwork, yeah, I mean, I mean it's David Mack for God's sake. Even um, Fire Guy Ryan, he loves David Mack, and I love David Mack, and we love Kabuki and Kabuki. Kabuki. David Mack is working on a TV show, so I can't wait for that. You guys, you guys know about Kabuki? Number four. Oh, you show it to us every time we talk, man. Let me see that Kabuki. Well, I have to because if you don't know, go check it out. Dan, look at all those little black and white Batmans. Oh my God, you got more? Um, I got. <laughs> I'm missing one. Hey Perry, remember when he said he was gonna send us a couple? Yeah. We didn't get. Uh, my grandfather used to say, "Oi, no, my nana see today, no tomorrow, yeah, yeah, today, no tomorrow, yeah." You can say it every day. You never send it. <laughs> oh, it's in the it. mail. It's in the uh, mail. It's in it. It's in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> This is, what, this is what your Latin friends do to you guys. <laughs> I, I, I gotta find some double wrap. I think I, didn't did Perry say he got a fifteen AOKs he got to send out? Yeah, man, I got freaking. All right, all right. So I'm not. Little, I'm just messing this with little you, man. black and white Batman can stay right here. It ain't going nowhere, guys. <laughs> hey, here for you. Hey, you know another one that that looks really good is uh, I, I just dig I dig this cover. <laughs> it's the Transformers number three, man. Oh yeah, oh, that's pretty Optimus cool. Prime go, going through the I door. Dark, that's my dark horse. It reminds me of Lord of the Rings, you know, like when that when that dude like opened the doors to that with the church where everybody was kind of like, you know, they were they were trying to get protection inside the church. He opened the door like that. I think that's I think I'm remembering right, but that that's I don't know, man. This kid of the '80s, I love Transformers, man. I like yeah. that because you can see the city in the background. That's really cool. Yeah, so I'm I'm digging that trans. If I see that one, I might I might pull the trigger on it. And that's the cover A, though. That's yeah, the cover A. That was the better one, too. But uh, actually, Middle West is coming out this week, too. So that's another one I'm looking forward to. That's, that's, yeah, that's the one he uh, That's the one he just talked about. Yeah, and that's why I'm going to open this box up right now. Let's see what's in there. We'll, we'll well, see, this is we'll coming see. from the UK. I UK. I hope. Um, oh, man. Hey, uh, Manny, Manny, the comic collector. Dude, I keep hearing about Blood Realm. And I can't I find it. see it. I, I can't know, see it in the I, shop. It's always sold out on it, man. I never, yeah. I can never find it. I wanted to get it so bad. I remember when the first one came out, I, I'd seen it then and I, I didn't pull the trigger, but then I started hearing more and more people talk about it and I should have grabbed it then. You know what I do see is that Batman Beyond number one. Dude, Batman Beyond, dude, I told you Batman Beyond is good. Look at that right behind you. Oh, mm -hmm. that. <laughs> dude, Batman, oh man, you have no idea how bad I want that. Oh man, just, just hit him where it hurts, man. Love it, man. Oh, that's such an awesome book, man. I got I got to run to my world. Books. Hold on. Let me, let me, before open the box. Before. Did you read it? Uh, no, I have not. I haven't opened it yet. I want to read it so bad. I want Bruce to say, "Welcome to my world," like he did in the freaking animated show. That was the, the greatest part of that whole. Oh, show. Yeah, you see John John Common kid uh, said, or "Aragon go in Lord of the Rings Two Towers." He comes in the helm deep main hall, just like yeah. See that's. Wow. I, you know, I was remembering right. I couldn't remember exactly <laughs> who he was. But yeah, he opens he opens the doors like that. I think that's awesome. All right. Hey, before um before I open the box, um, 
I just want to show off a couple of books. Hey, hey. Uh, what was that? You're keeping us in suspense. Why are you doing it? <laughs> well, because I, I left them in the living room table. I had to come get it. Building and, up and, the and, climax, and, you know? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, thank you, uh, John Comics with Kids, jumping in the house. Thank you so much for watching us. Hey, DK, hey, Delphi, I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to get some books for you. But my, my wife was at the hospital visiting her mom, um, and she brought me some books. She was coming home from the hospital, and she needed to decompress, and she saw a shop. And um, she picked up three books, and this is the first time. This is an AOK -okay for my wife. I want to show you guys. Mm. And um, she picked up, uh, I think Edwin may know one that he may like. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. But she picked up some Silver Age. She picked up a um, Flash issue 173. Look at that beauty. Oh, damn. That's a nice one, man. Yeah. Yeah. And that, I think this was 1968. And I put it in a new bagging board right away. It looks yeah. good, too, man. 12 cents, man. And here we are paying $4.99. And Perry paying $10.99 for variants. <laughs> Just messing with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Giving him crap, man. <laughs> I love Perry though. If I don't love you, that's why I wouldn't mess with you though, man. <laughs> but uh, here it is. Uh, we got um, Flash issue 234. This was 25 cents, man. And it says here Solar Storming, this issue, Green Lantern, but this is the Flash issue. So she knows what I like. Wow. So she listened cool. to me. And um, these were like nine ninety nine books. And the guy hooked her up and gave it to her for five bucks. And homeboy in Tampa, and uh, we'll save that for another show. But uh, anyway, I think this one you may like because I know you like first appearances and all that stuff. Who, and, doesn't, uh, who doesn't like first appearances, man? I don't know, but when it comes to Batman, oh, and DC oh. and all that stuff, this is issue four zero eight. Batman, the new adventures. This is oh, yeah. the Jason Todd origin. This was a $25 book. He gave it to my wife for 15 Dude, oh, I love fire. I love that book, man. I've got, <laughs> I, got two, I got two copies of it. I, I dig it. That is yeah. the coolest so, thing uh, ever where he's freaking stealing his tire. Like, come on. Dude, it's like one of the <laughs> only times you actually see Batman laughing in the yeah. comics. Like he laughed because he, he walks into the alley and he sees that his tires had been taken. <laughs> And then he laughs to himself. He just because he's having a rough night, and he just starts laughing about it. Yeah. So I, you know what? It was. Um. She came home. It was Sunday night. She came home, and then when she um, uh, she goes, "Babe, can you go to my backpack?" And I'm like, "Why?" And it's the bag sticking out. I just like oh. grabbed it, and I was Ooh. like, "She got me some books." <laughs> but um, let's open this book. This box, not the book, but the box. This is from. Them. Across the pond from Dak Hammer. Uh, Dak Hammer don't have an Instagram account, but I gave him a shout out on the shout out show. So check him out. Heck yeah. Um, I don't know what he sent me here. I'm just curious. Kind of heavy. A box full of Turox. Uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. That's exactly what it is. A box full of rocks from the UK. Man, if I ever meet Tom, I want to get a Turox number one sign. <laughs> <laughs> How about if I sign it? Say the weekend. With the happy oh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get um the first appearance of Aranya signed by you. <laughs> <laughs> what what does Aranya mean in English? Uh, I think it means a spider. Tarantula? Yeah, a spider. spider. John comes with kids in the house. He know what Aranya means. <laughs> hey John, what does that mean? Oh, are you watching this? You just gave it away. Oh, well, I was trying to help it out a little. Oh, we got some uh, little kids in the house. Oh, we got yeah, cameo we got, appearances happening tonight. We got the the little jabronis in the house. Oh, they went in the little jabronis. They went in the little jabronis. All right, guys, let's um uh, let's see, let's send this box from um, the UK, uh, across the pond. Uh, actually, I'm going to do it this way to make sure there's no notes. I want to make sure I want to read it first. Signific wow. Significa spider boil. I don't know what's in here. Look at this. Ooh. I'm excited. Hurry up. Come on, man. Oh, I'm trying to hurry up. 
It says Deck Hammer Comics. Oh, that's freaking cool, man. Right? Hi. Hey, how are Hi. you? Hi. Hi. Would we'll just open up this package here? It's a family show. We, we're not talking about cats and uh, X and the butts and all that stuff. You know, we we'll just open up a box here. I don't know what John said. Significa spider por claro. A significant spider that's clear? I don't know. I can't read Spanish. I can talk it. I can't open it, guys. <laughs> I think it's like maybe a bomb in here or something. Oh, man. I'll tell you that. <laughs> You're going to have custom agents breaking down your door. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, yeah, I got it, guys. The spider of the course. It's oh. Open. <laughs> oh, that's a freaking oh, wicked oh, cool oh, case, oh. man. You got to bring all that right, with you to the comic there's shop. A, there's a note in here. There's a note. Here we go. Hey, Comic Book Village says it's child. <laughs> God, I'm trying to hurry up here, man. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Brad. I'm ripping this crap, man. My son would have had that open already. I'm sure he would have. I'm not a son, though. I'm old. <laughs> he's such a job for... <laughs> you know how hard it is for me to take the medicine thing off the top? It's Gary. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Hey, why you... All right, you happy? There we go. <laughs> All right, it says to, um, to my real name, Rodney. All right, you guys know my real Rodney. name, Rodney. 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 All right. Uh, please, please find and close. Giant size X-Men number one. German variant. Edwin, stop hating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no Plus, way. Witchblade number 15. German variant. He's made it. Okay, best regards. Back hammer from the UK. Back the hammer from the UK. Let's see what he's looked like, guys. <laughs> Oh, don't cut it. Ooh. Oh, don't cut it in the book. <laughs> don't cut it in the book. That's freaking wicked cool, man. I've never seen a German variant of a. You didn't see one? I got one right here. Let me see. God, open the book, man. <laughs> I'm distracting him. Sorry, man. Open the book. We all want to see. I know. Keep it out. See Who's it. in the chat that want to see? We got Jaguar. <laughs> He's out there. Come. Jaguar. Damn, this is some serious packing, dude. All right. So you're going to see it for Whoa. You're going to see it first? Man, these are some mylars. All right, I'm going to turn. Hold on. What did Caroline right. say? I'm going to turn my head so you can see it first. Oh, man. He said child friendly show. <laughs> it better be. Hey, that's better not be. Wait a oh, watch out. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, <now. laughs> You're gonna get banned on YouTube. <laughs> oh damn, we're sorry, kids. Don't watch that one. Oh man. <laughs> well, I was the wrong one. Cover your kids, man. How about this one? Oh <laughs> my god, what a beauty. Is that is that a is that a the original or what? I don't know. It's uh yeah, it's a it's a German the German variant of it. Dude, I like I like this wish blade more though. Yeah, I bet you do. Let's see what the wife thinks of it. She she'll be here shortly. <laughs> Dude, this is so dope, man. Man, look at that. <laughs> don't turn your head. It's just a simple um giant size X one. No, because my, my son, I, I know he goes outside and he's still looking through the window. To yeah, see. I see him looking through the window. I'm like, oh, that's a typical <laughs> boy right there. He's like, fine, I'll go, but I'm a peak. <laughs> Dude, man, I'm sorry, man. Hey, already gone? You want to see it again? <laughs> hey, yeah, Perry, show us that. Uh, 
That was that book from last week, that triple X rated cover. What that was worse than this, man. That that I don't that's like that's a good triple X cover. <laughs> this one? No, that uh what was it? Uh fair not Fairland, um the other one. Damn, what was it called? I can't even remember now. That's how much was, I uh, didn't care about all, all the book. It was Vampirella, I think it was. No, it wasn't Vampirella. Dude, can I show it again? Faithless. Faithless. This one. That was a regular cover. Faithless, yeah. The, the, the erotical cover. The erotical cover. Dude, oh, dude this I is right so about this. Dope, I, I knew this was a homage. I knew that was a homage, dude. Yeah. I went searching for like an hour. Like I have to find wow, it. man, we got some. Yeah, they, um, looks like Naomi number number four is already going through a second print. Yeah. I mean, we knew that was gonna happen, dude. It's such a like twenty thousand print run that that sells out fast, bro. When everything <laughs> else is God. is eighty five thousand, dude, it's gonna sell. Oh yeah. It's an origin story. I kind of figured it was gonna get you know re reprinted and everything. I just hope it's good, man. That giant size X Men. So it, the whole book's in German. Yes. Should I open it? You want to see through it though? I want to practice some German. I want. I have to open it. I my three my three years in Germany. I learned nothing but Ein Bier and uh, Zwei Bier. Bitte. That's it. Let me get one or two beers, please. Dude, it's a German variant. You don't really need to know anything else in Germany. Yeah, dude, three years in Germany, I learned all of like four or five words. Dude, this is another one. This is um, this oh. is from the UK too. This is another yeah, variant. Vampire. Oh, that's yeah, it's a seven pence. That's a Ooh. that's a UK variant. Look that's at the price. Cool. I, I just got so much love from the UK, dude. Let's see what this looked like inside here. I was watching this show and I just told him, "Man, I don't have that book." Wow, it is. Everything is in just white pages. Look, I'm red generation. Wow, that's so sick. Look at that, dude. That is awesome. Well, let me show this off before I uh, I log out here. This is I went to the comic shop today and looked through some of the back issues, and I found this one. This is man, it's a beautiful cover. Wonder Woman from Blackest Night. Oh, that looks amazing. Black as Night, Wonder Woman number three. And she's got the, the purple, that purple ring on, dude. Now, what's oh, the purple yeah. ring, dude? Is it like manipulate color. yourself? Like clone yourself? Because you see in the back of her, there's like a bunch of her. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. But like, um, I, you know, I, I read I read through it and she gets she gets the ring. You know, the, the power of this ring is love. You know, green is will. White mm. is life. Black is death. This is the love. So, um. She gets she gets the ring because it, it helps her come back from death because she has a black ring on in the prior issue, um, and she's fighting. She is fighting. Um, what is her name? The queen, uh, Queen Mera. Mm. Who fights Queen Mera in this one? Hey, has- Edward, look what Duffy said. She said, uh, "Kachun got me that um, that shirt, that pink shirt." Dude. So that cover, the book. That cover. Yeah, dude, this this cover is amazing. If you guys can go out and find it, this cover is who did that cover? This Greg Greg Horn. Oh, okay. Greg Horn, look at that. <laughs> oh, we got a uh, Michael White. <laughs> that was looking outside. Yeah, I know. I scroll. Do we hunt any older series? Um, yes. I'm hunting back issues of Spawn, hunting back issues of Detective Comics, and then. Deathstroke. And if anyone has Deathstroke issue number 15, first appearance of his daughter, let me know. Because I'm trying to find like a like a nice high grade. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, comic book villain says uh get Blackest Night number seven, like from the main run. That is that first appearance of the White Lantern Corps. So that's that's a really good one. If you can go out there and find that one. Um I looked I looked at my shop today while I was there and they didn't they didn't have it. They had one through they had one through six, but they didn't have seven or eight. Mm. Car- Carlito Clas- Classico says her hands are blocking the good. <laughs> oh, man. Um, geez, man. These are some cool books, man. <laughs> Deathstroke 15, you say? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, hey, Rod, I, I got to log off, man. All right. We'll do it, then. I got to get out of here, brother. All right. Um, guys, um, gotta thank you for... Fashions. 
hanging out with us tonight. Everyone in the chat, we appreciate you. And uh, please check us out on our channels and support us. And not only that, Edwin and I, Jeffrey Comic Ham, will be on Coast to Coast Comic Saturdays with our special guest. Yes, JoJo's in the house. JoJo.comics. Yeah, she's going to be with us. And Perry, one day, you're going to be the special guest. I was already your special guest. How about again? I don't know, man. I like to hold it down in the chat room. You know, I like to, I like to interact with the community, man. <laughs> That's how we do, man. If anyone wants like some really cool books on my channel, doing a giveaway. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah plug plug up your channel right clock now. Is ticking, man. Too, that man. Clock is, I just hit 300 subs, so thank you. Because all you guys in the chat, like I know all you guys support me, so that's freaking wicked cool. So yeah. You just hit 300 right now. Yeah, 300. I just started in January. Holy shoot! It took me a year to get 300. Yeah, man. Aries support, man. Aries on it. Aries on it. Um, he doesn't. He doesn't sleep. So, uh, if you true. haven't been to my channel, man, I, I also got a I got a giveaway going for my one year anniversary, four hundred subs, giving away that awesome Avengers, Avengers briefcase, man. It has all the movies from Phase One, all on Blu-ray. Phase oh, yeah. One. So, so, someone who hasn't seen any of them, I would appreciate it if nobody enters, so I could win. <laughs> I already, already like 70, 70 entries in into it. I'm gonna start wow. making media accounts. Yeah. <laughs> 70. That means my chances of winning are zero now. Nah, man, you got a good chance. One in 70, you're good, bro. <laughs> good. One in 70. <laughs> All right, so I guess uh, I think we did uh, everything we had to say right now. Yep. Um, not only that, but Amazing Spider Man 16 and 17 are on second print. Just throwing it out there. So if you want a second print of Amazing Spider Man 16 and 17, go for it. And with that being said, I think we will end the show. Edwin Perry, thank you very much for uh, good night, everyone. Thank you, guys. Good night, good night Pat. Thank you for your support. Have a good new comic book day tomorrow, guys. Oh yeah. Have fun hunting. <laughs>